I'll now ask a non-serious question, but I think it's very important for your fans. In fact, I'm one of them because I read in India after Gandhi when it was launched hmm. in my college actually. Okay. So, uh, yeah. uh, is there one book that you wish you could read all over again for the first time? Yeah, of course. And I, you see, the important thing is actually hmm. I often reread books. Oh wow! So hmm. uh, because you, when you go a second or third time to them. Hmm. You get a uh, new perspective. Mm. Uh, of course, Gandhi's writings, you know, so Hind Swaraj or his autobiography. Mm. Or oh, I recently reread uh, Nehru's Discovery of India after 20 years, and I got mm. some very rich insights. A book I return to often, which is connected to a third aspect of my work, which is my love of cricket, right. is C.R.L.R. James Beyond the Boundary, mm. which is a book about West Indies cricket. But it's of course about Warrell and Sobers and the great cricketers of the 50s and 60s. But it's also about race, it's about colonialism, it's about literature, it's about culture. It's about sport as a window into human life. And uh, it's a book I go back to all the time. I mean, every mm. two or three years I reread it. You know, I reread novels. Right. I read the writings of Jim Corbett, you know, because of my environmental of work. He's a beautiful mm. writer. Mm. I, the other day I couldn't sleep at night and I found an old book of Jim Corbett, which I must have first read. When I was probably 12 or 13 or 14, maybe, mm. growing up in Dehradun. Okay. So I think it's really, I think readers must know. I mm. think this is your, the question you asked is important for younger readers. Mm. Why do I have, maybe mm. not today. Mm. You know, you read a book at 20, great mm. books uh, at different stages of your life mm. mean different things to you, educate you and stimulate you in different ways. I mean, reading Jim Corbett at 14, Gave me something, reading, reading Jim Corbett in 66 gives me something else, right? Mm. And especially great novels, you know, uh, so Tolstoy or George Eliot, you know, and, and so on, you know. So I think, uh, or even our epics, you know, you read the mm. Mahabharata, in, uh, you know, when you're young and you read again, you you'll different find different meanings, you'll yeah, find different course. meanings mm. in it, right? Mm. So I think it's, I do often reread often books or, or essays, great mm. essays. For example, if you, if you look at, uh, we talk about Gandhi. There's a fabulous essay on Gandhi by George Orwell called Reflections on Gandhi, oh. uh, which he wrote as soon as Gandhi died in 48. Mm. And Orwell was a great English writer who served in, who was born in Motihari in Bihar, so had an oh, India wow. collection. And uh -huh. followed, even though he went back to mm. England, followed Gandhi's career, and had very complicated, ambivalent feelings towards Gandhi. Mm. And in this essay, he tells you why he admired him and why he disliked him. <laughs> and uh, you can go, and he was a beautiful writer. Right? Orwell is recognized mm. in the English language as the best essayist of the 20th century. Mm. So it's an essay on Gandhi which tells, which leads me to appreciate Gandhi afresh, but also to appreciate Orwell's prose afresh, you know. Mm. So I think they are things readers must, uh, uh, when the mood grips them, right. uh, go back to works uh, they read mm. earlier. You, they'll find new meanings, you know, just as friendships develop, mm. you know, uh, what your friend or your romantic partner meant to you 10 years ago compared to now, uh, similarly with books, I mean, the idea, it's, it's a continuous uh, and continually enriching process. Right. So the idea that many readers have, mm. that I've read it once, why should I read it again? Mm. I think uh, is an impoverished idea. Mm. 